Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna be seeing why they haven't broke why they haven't broken no contact. Whoever's on your mind, whoever you're questioning or wanting to hear from. That's what this reading is going to be about. I'm seeing a certain deck that Source wants me to use or that I'm feeling called to use. Well, we're going to be seeing what comes out, you guys. But uh, you guys want to know. So we do have coming to rescue you. So somebody is intending on coming towards you to rescue you. Now, I'm not sure if this is who you're waiting on or who you've been wanting to break no contact. Um, but you do have somebody that wants to rescue you out of a situation. So we're just going to see what's going to go with the flow, see what comes out. The answer is going to come out eventually if it's not already. Um, <laughs> it says you're exactly where you need to be. Don't doubt the process. For some of y'all, it's like everything that's happening right now, this silence between you and somebody, that's actually how it's supposed to be. Because somebody could still intend on coming towards you, you know? We have I have nothing to offer. I have nothing, nothing, nothing to offer you. So yeah, somebody's they don't have shit. Okay, that's that that the end of the reading, okay? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> that is not <laughs> I'm just playing, but uh somebody could have many options. For some of y'all be getting right to it, and somebody had nothing to offer, all they had was options and they just didn't have nothing to offer you or these other options. They could have been trying to spread their time between you and other options and they just didn't have enough. That's all they got. That's all they got, you know. But for some of you guys who are being told, like, listen, you already where you need to be. Somebody was not supposed to come towards you for some of you because they had nothing to offer you. This is why you have somebody else coming to rescue you. It's giving, like, that's why it's a rescue. Because it wouldn't be a rescue if it was just, you were, anyways. But for some of y'all, I'm here like, I don't need nobody to come save me. We get it. But, uh, yeah, you're where you need to be, okay? I don't, somebody definitely could have been exploring their options with nothing to offer. Any of them options, okay? So, you you were in the right place at the right time. You were you where you need to be. Don't doubt that. You could have thought you wanted something, but whole time this person ain't even got shit to offer you. Because we have don't take the bait. Some of y'all, yeah, it would just be a test. It's a, it's a, it's a trap. It's a setup. Something about a trap house could be significant, but don't take the bait. Something is a test. Somebody could just be like um waiting to. I heard they're waiting for you to contact them, or like they're purposefully um. I just put the little water on myself. It's purposefully not reaching out to you so that you could reach out to them. It says, this is not over until I say so. You belong to me. I'm not playing. So, yeah, somebody could be playing mind games. That's what it's giving. Mind games. And who the fuck got time for that? What pop up? Listen to me. Like, somebody's trying to silently. I heard play the silence game with you. And then all of a sudden, like, when you don't want nothing to do with them or, like, when you get too silent, you don't hit them up when they expect you to. Okay, or, like, three days it went past. Why this person ain't said under me yet? Like, let me pop up. Like, yeah, it's like this person is toxic. It says a fire sign is coming towards you. So, I mean, it could be a toxic ass fire sign coming towards somebody, or this could be who wants to rescue somebody. But I'm, this could be somebody who wants to pop up. Uh, Aries Leo Sag. I would say be careful with this person because, yeah, somebody could definitely on some, oh, it ain't over. So I say it's over type shit. But this person is a test. Some of y'all, you guys, like somebody new that wants to come in and rescue you, but you do have somebody that, like, they don't really have shit to offer you, or, like, not nothing that you should want for yourself. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, the water be too good. So, yeah, don't doubt it. You're where you need to be, baby. Yeah, somebody could be doing some form of inner child healing right now. Um, We have Be My Pastor, the Princess. I do get a very, like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, a newer energy that may this person is going to give you princess treatment is what i'm getting for some of you this could be a fire sign or you could be releasing a fire sign but i just get that somebody's going to want to give you princess treatment and for some of you you're actually going to have to learn how to accept this treatment because you're not used to this because of like maybe somebody that you were dealing with in the past like you were wondering why this person wasn't reaching out and source is like they ain't got shit Listen to me. It says it was a setup. Y'all, on this card, it says don't take the bait. It's a test, a trap, or a setup. 
I made these cards. When I made them, baby, I put all I had up into them. <laughs> I put all I had up into them, baby. So it's a setup. It's a trap. It's like something, but somebody could have been trying to like trap you with a baby. I'm here for some of y'all. Do not, hey, hey, hey. Hey, no, don't let nobody that ain't got nothing to offer you that's broke as a joke and they ain't got nothing to even, uh-uh, this person ain't got shit. And I feel like somebody could be wanting to trap you to keep you stuck. I'm here emotionally or like mentally or like through like a baby. It's like, ew, y'all. It's a setup. Somebody's trying to set you up for failure. And I, I feel like it's a test. For some of y'all, I'm hearing like somebody could even be trying to like, I don't know if it's like a uh, somebody trying to like bet, bet uh, it's like somebody's trying to bait you or something like that or but it's like somebody could be trying to like play in your face or something like that. Um, struggling financially. So somebody don't even have the money to like pursue you or take care of you like on a relationship type of level. And I say they got to take care of you like they're married to you. But yeah, I love you at the bottom of the day. I just, you know what I'm saying? It says you're about to live a lavish lifestyle or you're meant to be patient. It's already yours. I don't know who you letting go of or who you waiting on to contact you. But this person is, they don't got nothing to offer you. I would just let them go. Because you got another timeline that's coming in for you full of abundance. And if you let this person in on this timeline or you let them pop up, I'm hearing like somebody will only drag you down. This is only a test. Like the divine wants to see if somebody really learned before they send in like this. Like you could have a very lavish life that you're about to live or like an opportunity or a lover. And you want to miss this shit for some of y'all. It's a test. You see, it's I'm, sources reiterating it. Sources emphasizing it for somebody because... You were nerfed, Angel. I feel like you're her. You're one of mine. My crew. Let's go. That's what the divine is saying. Like, you, you could have been standing in this situation or waiting around for somebody a little too long. I'm here. Hillary's got to know when the expiration date is, is, you know what I'm saying? And when it's upon us. When it's time to let go of the assignment. Because look, Earth Angel, it says you have a high level purpose. And this situation that you were holding on to, that is not. I'm here. And it's above me now. Give it to God. Let it go. What does this say? What does this say? Give it to God, baby. Give it to. Cause God is everywhere. I don't know why we just be talking about him. Cause he, he all around. He up down, all around. All around. Yeah. Anyways, somebody's meant to live like a lavish lifestyle. You're not. This other person will only put you in a timeline of lack. Earth angel, you're about to go through a a, a miraculous transformation. Is what I'm hearing. Metamorphosis, changes is coming in for you. So I don't know who you were waiting on to, to reach out or communicate or things to change between you and them. But I just feel like Earth angel, the change is happening through you. Okay. So don't take the bait. If somebody may be trying to bait you to reach out to them or bait you to hold on to a connection. Um, it says you wouldn't just be my man. You would be my one and only. And for somebody else, you were like waiting on somebody that possibly put you in third parties or that was very flighty. You were never really sure where you stood with this person. Why would you want that for yourself? That's why that inner child healing card came up. Because for some of you, you need to do a little bit more healing on your inner child because your inner child, maybe you need to do a little talk. Like, why would you want that for yourself? Would you want that for your child? Or somebody that would have your child waiting around for them to come back and waiting around to see where we stand and waiting, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Somebody who don't even have nothing to offer you. No father would tell their baby girl to be with somebody who ain't got shit to offer. We not, we, look, look, on the bitches over. Wow. So, um, some of you guys are waiting on something that I heard like you're, that you're just meant for more. You're just meant for more. Well, I don't know. So once, once you're a man or woman, that came out on struggling financially, so it could be a broke karmic too. You see why sources tell you to let go? You got you got broke karmics. You got you got men, women, and they're all just around here with nothing to offer. They're all in a financially struggling pot of lack. Just swarming like crabs in a barrel. Leave them in that barrel leave them put the lid on and turn the steamer on you know what i'm saying leave them in there with failed destiny swap whoever this person that wanted your man or your woman somebody could have even tried to be a third party in the situation and let's say your person failed for it have them i'm here take them for a spin because this person has nothing to offer they're going to find out that somebody's like broke or they have nothing to offer they could have been looking from the outside looking in thinking that this person was taking care of you or they were the reason why you was looking so good so stable it was you I don't know. It's like uh, somebody could have been wanting what you had or what they perceived you to have or the way that somebody was treating you. I'm just getting like somebody's going to be struggling. Let's see that it was a karmic interference that wanted your man or your woman. And they they, they got in a between or somebody's going to it was a failed destiny swap. They wanted your destiny. They wanted what was for you. Go ahead. If you think you could, you ain't taking my person, you taking my problem. So this could be what you told somebody or like this is like what somebody's realizing like somebody could have just wanted someone else because you had them. Maybe this person was struggling financially and thought that this person was going to be able to like help them. They can't even help themselves. How can they help you, sweetheart? But have fun with that one. Okay? Have fun with that one. 
It says, I never felt this way for anyone else before. And it says they feel you get special treatment. They're jealous of you. And I'm definitely getting like it was a karmic that felt like this person was giving you special treatment. So they they intentionally tried to like intervene or, oh, okay. And it's not what they thought it was at all. Like I'm hearing the grass was not green or like somebody could have been thinking they was that girl. And they was that like, oh, yeah, I'm with this person's man or woman. And the whole time they was like, what the fuck is it? Yeah, okay. Okay, go ahead and have fun. We got this love is pulling on both your heartstrings. So you could have somebody new coming in while somebody else was trying to take something that was just karmic for you or just in lack. And this new person has never felt this way about anybody before. I heard they're going to make that very like clear. It's going to be very felt. And it says, if you leave me, I will just I will try to destroy you. So somebody's very like bitter and karmic. I'm here and you could be having ringing in your ears as you're watching this video. I heard before you watch this video, like somebody just be having like ringing, that's your signs. It says this reading will expose everything. So for some of you guys, this is the reading that you need to be watching. Um, I heard don't wait on that person that you've been trying to wait on for some of you. They, that, that person is karmic. That person is a narcissist. This is somebody who only wants you because you be holding on to them or you make them feel wanted. You boost their ego, if anything, is what I'm getting. Um, and this could be somebody who has absolutely nothing to offer you and they feel like they're the prize or something. Like, what do you mean? You're going to try to destroy me. Destroy yourself. You don't even have nothing. To, what do you mean? It says the person sending evil eye. Wow. After it says this reading will expose everything. Let's go ahead and expose this, shall we? The person sitting evil eye is an ex. They hate to see you or your person move on without them and be happy. Misery loves company. If they returns, it is a test. Oh, my fucking God. They want you miserable like they are. For some of y'all, it's your ex. You wonder why three times, three times. So for some of y'all, this is a very important warning that source is giving somebody. This person could like to do pop-ups. I'm here. they don't respect your boundaries. Three times, Source is telling somebody that it is a setup. It is a test. So Source really loves you for whoever you are. It's all one, two, three, one, three, two. So something is happening in like a divine timing or it could feel like something was like, you could feel like something didn't happen in divine timing, but I'm hearing it was supposed to happen that, that way. Um, but I'm definitely getting that somebody is like trying to, somebody is like possibly knows that you're not their person or like you're not their soulmate or like somebody's bitter. Somebody just don't want to let you go. This could be a bitter ex, a feminine or a masculine, but I just feel like somebody is baiting someone. Look, I don't know if there was like trolling involved. I just feel like, listen to me, something is supposed to be over. The expiration date is what I was hearing. Somebody definitely feels like you're better than them. That came out twice too. Like, it's a karmic here. This could be somebody's ex. They just feel like you're better than them. They feel like they don't deserve you. They have nothing to offer you. And they would literally stay with you or try to keep you in a situation or keep you waiting just so you won't move on and find somebody else better or that loves you or that could really take care of you or that could really give to you the way that you deserve in a relationship. They could really take you on dates. They could really, I don't know, support you. It's just someone wants you to stay stuck with them out of selfish reasons. And this is a narcissist who probably didn't even treat you right when they had you. Or not probably. I just don't feel like they did. Because if they did, then you would still be with them. Okay, sarah, sarah, what will be, will be. So some of y'all are just like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and surrender. What will be, will be. I ain't forcing nothing. I don't know if somebody told somebody false information about you. It could have been a false reader or a spiritualist or somebody could have got a reading where it was like they didn't get the right information, especially not when it came to you. Um, there could have been some type of confusion. But in this reading, it won't be any because I'm feeling like it's exposing everything. Um, again, I feel that it's very significant that someone listens to the warning. It's an ex that source is trying to tell you about. Don't go back to that damn ex because that motherfucker don't want to see you happy. That person does not care about you. This person could pop up when they see that you're moving on or when you're finally doing better or when you're in a peaceful energy. It's because this person just wants to be on your mind. They just want to have a access to your energy. You're a leader. It says, and this is why you've been set apart. Separate, separation equals preparation. And I'm actually getting you are being prepared for this new person that's coming into your life because they are actually of quality. If you are of high quality, they are of high caliber as well with divine love and faded union. I wouldn't make it up. So this person that you're being guided towards, they're uh, they're on your level or they're they shit. Some of y'all, they this is someone of a higher power or authority. Like they this someone to be taken seriously. And this person that's in the past, this is why you're being prepared. Again, show yourself more self-love and uh, something about healing. And it says this is a past life karmic coming to try and finish their assignment. So you got a past life karmic that's an X for some of y'all. And their assignment is to stop you from moving on, to stop you from healing, to stop you from breaking these generational patterns, which could be like stay in a relationship that you're not happy in that somebody's putting you in third parties that you're miserable in that there's a lot of toxicity yeah some of y'all are meant to be like self-made you're meant to do something yourself or going forward and this person hasn't been reaching out or it's because this person is playing my games this is because this person is sending you evil eye and they're baiting you this person really wants to see how much you love yourself that's the test like somebody's testing you 
whole time they're being tested by the divine too but it's like you somebody's being tested by not just this karmic energy but by the divine too like this karmic testing you to see how much you love yourself to see if you gonna like let's see if you really done with me let's see if you really love yourself enough to be like to walk away let's see if you trust your intuition enough to trust that dream that you've been telling me about for the last five weeks like you know you see what you see but you letting me talk you out of it i don't know but you got somebody that's gonna be enchanted by your divine energy here Somebody's masculine or somebody was attracted to like trans energy or somebody could be like in a relationship. Somebody could be trans, but they definitely could have been like some type of somebody could have been like trans or like they were in interested in trans. That could have been like a secret that somebody was keeping on the down low. And that's not for everybody because that didn't come out. I just kind of glanced and saw it. So I kind of wanted to mention that. Just If it don't apply, let it fly. You don't even got to mention it in the comments. Like, oh, no, hell no. You know what I'm saying? Because it says you see past this imposter and you can't be fooled, playing your part wisely. Some of y'all already know a secret that this person don't want you to know or that they're not your person. Some of y'all already know it's your ex that's been sending you negative energy or that has been trying to sabotage you from afar. Um, you do have people that are enchanted by your divine energy. You do see past someone's energy. Like you see past that imposter that's been trying to, this ex for some of you that's been trying to bait you into like another toxic cycle. You already know that, look, it's your destiny. Something that's coming in for you, dodge the bullet. I'm hearing best thing I never had by Beyonce. What goes around comes back around. Hey, my baby. Goes around comes back around. Eh, mm -hmm. What she said, there was a time that I thought that you did everything right. No wrong, no lie. Boy, I. I don't know the words i'm trying to remember must have been out of my mind to think that there was a time that i almost loved you you showed your ass and i was all on feel you they cut your boy they dodged your boy i'm so over you but get it good again now i'm so through with it hold on i don't know the word Honestly, you turn out to be a... I don't know. So somebody could have been like a very close call. Maybe you didn't even like it. I heard like you could have called off an engagement with somebody I'm hearing. Or it was something that was close. Like maybe you were finna move in with this person. You were finna get in a relationship. It's something like you were finna take things to the next level. You were finna get engaged. And then somebody... Because it's something that your destiny was pulling you on another path I'm hearing. It was not with this person. And that's what somebody's going to be realizing. If you dodged a big ass bullet. For some of y'all, you were actually meant for somebody else. That you have a divine faded union with and we got broke as hell so somebody don't even have the fun i'm hearing where's the funds something is going to be over when you look so different now somebody could feel like you've gone through a, like a glow up or like you look different karma is hitting their finances oh my god this is why somebody's not reaching out for some of y'all because you're ashamed because they don't have money or like they're broke as hell they don't have nothing to some of y'all i'm telling you they've been getting readers on you it says a reader told them that you are the one divine feminine or masculine so i do feel like somebody has been getting readers they could have got a false reading or some to once somebody that told them like a lie or a false energy or readings and then i'm getting like they could have even got a, another reading where somebody actually told them like no this is the real deal like somebody could have been confused they could have went through like different readers about you or like got false information from like one reader to another and i do feel it's heavy on somebody's person is like the type to get readings whether you notice or not masculine or feminine they get readings on you whether they are watching youtube readings or look social media they could even watch like readers on social media this could be somebody who follows like social media readers or, like facebook readers instagram readers um but it says attracted to your high vibration no attracted to you but your high vibration keeps them away like repellent so for some of you you're like why is this person not reaching out i'm just trying to call them in i'm manifesting them i'm, I'm writing name on paper putting the spit behind my ear yeah i'll be watching i'll be on tiktok too like somebody over here trying all the little methods and you wonder why somebody it's because your vibration is keeping somebody out too they know that they can't come towards you because you're all the way up here you're vibrating this high and this person is they're down here they don't even got no cutting ties like somebody knows that they can't even come around you because like your light would be so fucking blinding it would hurt to come around you like vibrationally you would make this person feel uncomfortable like they to the point where they might even try start like treating you weird or like it's because you your your vibration is keeping them away and they're going through a lot of karma where's that one card that talked about how karma is hitting their finances and we got bad karma so somebody yeah they're not coming towards you because they can't they've been blocked out of your energy or some of y'all i mean this person could feel like they're in love with you or they want to come towards you or they want they could shoulda coulda woulda because i feel like right now this person is going through a series of karma where they can't with self-harm somebody may even want to like harm themselves or be like you know suicidal this person could have been connected to like a karmic feminine for some of y'all this could have been like a karmic family member that was significant that's like in the energy of self-harm it's like a feminine 
It says it's a karmic family member for some of y'all. So it's like a feminine for some of y'all. It was a karmic ex for some of you. For others of you, it's like a karmic feminine that's a family member. Um, she's feeling like she wants to hurt herself for some of you guys. And I ain't gonna lie, you could need to like check on her. I ain't gonna say check on her because some of y'all could be like, I'm gonna leave her. You know? But it is, it's, it's, somebody is wanting to hurt themselves. She is karmic. Um, she's not in a good space right now. Mentally is what I'm hearing. They feel like you're better than them. This is someone who's kind of, for some of you, she was jealous of your legacy or this ex or this family member. I heard for some of y'all, I heard like an auntie or a sister um or mother uh but somebody felt like they it was a karmic feminine in your life she felt like you were better than her um she's jealous of your legacy she it says they want your purpose she wants your purpose and it says people are noticing how conniving and calculated they are so somebody is not getting away with whatever that they were doing in the dark or um just understand that if people are keeping their distance from you right now it is on purpose for some of you it's it's out of their control it's because life is eating their ass up and not just life i heard karma and it says if you can't beat them join them not sincere and again this is why sources it's really sources really letting somebody know that if somebody's not if somebody's coming around you right now or i just get for some of y'all heavily you're not in contact with this person but let's say somebody pops up out the blue or they're has it all of a sudden they're just real hell-bent on like coming around you it's because somebody feels like they don't even like you or they they feel like more so that you're building something that they're not going to be a part of which is a legacy you're building something that the divine is like granting you access to which i'm telling you don't homicide we had self-harm somebody has nothing to lose like i it's given selena and yolanda and y'all know i will bring that up every day on here because i don't play that backdoor snake energy and I, jealous friend and this card i never rewrote it i could have wrote it on another card and started over because it got like water damage but i felt like this was like i felt like it was supposed to be like this because it's like energy of like illusions and like distorted energies and like complications or like somebody's very distorted and it says collaborating with others to try and um end you somebody was jealous around you and this is why they weren't reaching out whether it was a family member or an ex this friend i do feel like you were being protected this is why somebody's not reaching out to you um, and it says, I ghost or cut others off for an ego boost. So if somebody ghosts you or cut you off and you are wondering, like, why is this person not reaching out to me? That was your protection. You've been crowned. The divine is crowning you. So don't worry about, like, don't worry about who's not reaching. You're protected. Whoever was collaborating with others or is trying to hurt you by, like, cutting you off abruptly or ghosting you, like, that definitely is what's coming out here heavy. Like, somebody could have just cut you off out the blue and you didn't hear. Like, you was like, what happened? What did I do to this person? Like, that was your protection. You have some rare gifts too so listen to me it was a snake in your grass so don't don't worry about it watching too many readings literally so whoever this person is they could get a lot of readings on you or they watch a lot of readings this could be y'all but i'm getting like it's this person this snake energy they could be trying to watch readings i heard especially when it comes to your zodiac sign this person tunes the fuck in because they're trying to figure out what you got coming your way this is a snake crown like somebody could be trying to tap into your crown chakra too that's the energy of your connection to the divine and your sacral in your heart we ain't never have all these damn chakras so somebody's sacral crown chakra and heart chakra right now i feel like is being um awakened and balanced um also i'm here like illuminated you're gonna meet somebody that puts you on a pedestal soon okay so somebody may not even be coming towards you because they've been lying a lot too like weaving a web of lies and it's not adding up like somebody may not want to they may know that they're going to have to clear up some lies or like you're going to be questioning them about something and they don't want to it says let go of this washed up dusty okay sparkle sparkle so yeah if you were you were holding on to somebody she would not be too proud of you because this person is a dusty they don't have nothing to offer you but the dust is lit in their pockets and you don't need that okay so move into your heart space open up that that energy of that sacred sensuality i'm hearing that intimacy and something about connecting with the divine or this oneness with self because some of you guys yeah it's time to let that dusty go and it says love yourself first yeah love yourself first baby some of y'all yeah it could have been a third party interference as to why they weren't like opening up to you um or, or coming reaching out to you but i'm just getting everything happens for a reason okay some of y'all need to raise your vibration you were focused on this person a little bit too much divine feminine is you sources saying so it's okay you could have been just a little bit too focused on when they're going to come back or why they're not reaching out or what's going on if they're faithful if they're cheating I almost said something listen to me you are the divine feminine okay shift your focus because your focus whatever your focus is on that's what your rea reality shall become and you don't need your reality to become anything dusty that's what you were focusing on so you've been set apart you've been separated because you're being prepared for something much more than what you thought that you were wanting or being prepared for and it was only a test it was only a setup um so something about like a shift happening and we have physical or spiritual jail literally we have karmic sibling sabotage some of y'all it was a karmic sibling you didn't even know this was who like 
maybe you were waiting on like a, to hear from like a sibling or something or i don't know it could have been like a karmic sibling that wanted to sabotage something for you but it's just shift happening and whoever this whoever was working against you behind the scenes i mean let's see you were you were waiting on like a family member to hear from them or you were wondering why somebody was treating you funny these people are in spiritual jail baby so i'm here they're going through shit so much they feel like they're being plagued by the plagues of egypt and they don't even realize that it's because of this shit that they were doing behind your your back and you've been crowned so any moment now some type of change is coming in for you You've been crowned. No, you don't have to worry about um, whoever you were waiting on to reach out. I'm here and don't wait no more. <laughs> if you, I cut the deck of lesbian love. I don't know if somebody could be a lesbian or you being into the same sex. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you over here waiting on somebody to reach out and there's nothing worth waiting on. Nothing worth waiting on. Somebody could be like a lesbian. You could be waiting on a like, I, You could be feminine or a lesbian. Or be, we have a union here, so whatever you're into, whether you're straight, bisexual, gay, lesbian, you got a union coming in if that's what you're wanting. If you are waiting on like communication for somebody, they just not. That's not who's for you. Manifestation and talent. Somebody is like could be going towards some type of manifestation. Somebody's talents too. Like you're being pushed onto another path, and it could be like by sources telling you like release somebody that you were waiting on, because you could. That could be somebody that was only going to slow down your path or progress anyway. Maybe right now you're not supposed to be pursuing love. Focus on like your talents or your, your what you're good at. Something that's going to bring you in some form of like fulfillment. Something that's going to make you feel like you're on the right path as well. Again, somebody could be already following like their talents. Something with music could be significant. Something that has to do with like a childhood dream. Something that's meant for you with individuality here. Like the snowflake energy. You're cut from a different cloth from here. Like you're, no two snowflakes are the same. You're very rare. You have a different essence to you. So whatever it is that you're being called towards, who, what, when, where, or why, you're the, her, you're unique, you uniquely made for the job or whatever this is. Your talents that you have can't be matched. Um, this is why something is coming into fruition for you. Is say it's a relationship. Somebody feels like you're just the perfect one for them. Say that this is a career. That's something that you're very talented. It's perfect for you. Like a, I'm hearing like it's just perfect. It just feels like this is your perfect fit. It says perfection on that card. So yeah, with completion. You guys are completing cycles. The chaos. And so some of you guys, um, that's that cycle that has been completed. That chaos, chaotic cycle. Um, where it was a lot of turmoil for some of you guys. You were confused half the damn time. It felt like shit was just falling apart. But I'm hearing it has to fall apart for it to come back together. So that's significant. For some of you guys, you're going to be getting like a new energy that's coming in for you. This is the universe giving you this confirmation. Um, someone is going to be like more so feeling like home to you. If you were waiting on like a lover from the past to reach out, like here and just let it be. Because it says belonging on this card. So something that's coming in is actually going to be belonging in your life. Um... Keep an open mind and open heart with pleasure. This is going to bring a lot of pleasure into your life. Okay. We got enjoyment, sensuality, and physicality. So you and this person are going to be having a lot of enjoyment. I heard somebody's person likes to be outdoors or they like to do fun things. I'm hearing rock climbing. I'm hearing zoos, aquariums, museums. Like somebody likes to stay active. Carnivals. Like they like to do things. They like to be active. They like to go out. They don't like to just stay inside. Um, or I don't know. Somebody's person may not be a homebody. You could be a homebody, but your person's not or something like that. And it's going to be like an opposite kind of energy is what I'm getting for some of y'all with intuition here. So, yeah, your intuition could be like showing you that something new is coming in to release like the past with feminine, my divine feminine, with commitment. <laughs> so, divine feminine, you're going to get a commitment. Just understand that like this is why source is telling you like you don't have to hold on to that past version of self or that past person that you were waiting on. Like, why are you waiting on somebody who can't even give you what you want? You have somebody that's ready out here, ready to ready to love you for who you are, ready to show you more about who you are and who they are. Like, somebody's ready to come in and, like, rock your world with independence. And they're going to value and love your independence. This is not somebody that's going to be, like, codependent or want you codependent on them. So this is going to be a healthy, healthy dynamic. I'm feeling like that's coming in for some of you. This is what you are wanting, this union and like a commitment. But you were waiting. I'm hearing like you, you, it's like you were at the wrong address. You know what I'm saying? You had the right, you had the right shit, man. Everything looked nice and nice little, you know. But you, you were at the wrong address. Nice little items and, you know, packaging. And, you know, like, you know. But, uh, yeah. 
something about releasing the past is very significant with allowing void because for some of you yeah that's what you were feeling a void but allow this her void to be healed to be closed you no longer have to feel a void because you're about to meet for some of you your person or someone that's meant to be in your life um but you had to allow that past door to close for some of you this is going to be a choice that you're making i'm here to be or not to be uh, are you going to choose the past and um, that void like you knew that you weren't fully happy you knew that you were only like it was given temporary satisfaction or you were only like tolerating a situation or like you just wasn't your de dependency like it was given like codependency whether it was because you needed the money you needed their attention you wanted their love you want you, but it wasn't really for you you just wanted whatever they had to give because you felt like you needed it at the time you were using it as a crutch for some of you that didn't fully do it for you that's like what did he say from Twilight when he said, like, it's like um my family, we're like vegetarians, but we, it's like a human trying to survive off tofu. You can do it, but you're never fully satisfied. So it's like you could sit in a situation where it's, you're going to be filling a void and it's like you could just settle for less and you know that's not what you really want. Or you can go towards what you really want, which would be filled with, 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 with commitment and pleasure. And I feel like for some of you, dep uh, dependency was a part of the old cycle. I feel like more so independency and wholeness is going to be a part of the new cycle. Even if you're with someone else, you're going to feel whole on your own. And that was what was lacking in the past with protection. So you're, you're being protected from like a, listen to me, y'all, temptation and ego. For some of y'all, it was your ego keeping you in a past situation or maybe they look good. Maybe they had, I don't know, it's something with ego. Maybe you didn't want somebody else to feel like they took somebody from you. Well, I know, I, you know, this person won't come back to me. It's something here was only a test. It was only a temptation. Maybe you didn't want to let something go out of ego. You knew that you weren't happy. They weren't happy. Y'all both were just, uh, but both of y'all didn't want to let go because of whatever. Uh, it was, uh, who knows? Some type of, something was keeping someone in a situation out of ego. Maybe conditioning, insecurities I'm hearing. Yeah. But I do feel that somebody in a situation could have even been like, they could have been tempted. They could have had certain temptations that, that tempted them away from you. It could have been a betrayal and you're still waiting on this person to hear from them? Oh, no. So that's, that's ego. So it's like, I'm hearing for some of you, the test is to let go of this person and trust, love, literally. That's the test. That's why Source is saying it was a setup. It's a test. Source is this set up by the divine. It's just like, okay, now when you pass this final test, we're going to give you what you want. So the test is to have love. I'm here to choose love. And if it ain't love, then it ain't, it ain't for you. So for some of you guys, you're going to be going through like a test soon. I'm here to choose love and not the temptation, not what looks good on the eye, on the eye not what seems like it's going to bring just bodily pleasures or, you know, what feels good. It, love, you, you know, move with your heart space, unconditional love, because um, that's what keeps giving. I'm hearing like people be looking for love and, and just, they look for the wrong things when it comes to love. You need to be looking for the one that's going to be there when shit gets tough, when the going gets tough, when shit gets real. Not just the one who's around for the glistic glam, the money, the good looks, because anything could happen. Somebody could get in a car accident tomorrow, and then what then? What if something happens where it's devastating, where you, your person may never look the same? And it's like, are you going to be that shallow? It's like some, it's given like somebody could have been standing in situations where they're realizing it wasn't real love, it wasn't their home. It was just voice. It was just filling voice. Maybe this just this person looked good, or they had that body shape that this person like, or they carried the. I don't know. They drove this, and somebody realizing like, I want love. I don't just want the temptation, or I don't want to choose out of ego, or people who I don't want somebody who just good in the bed, men or women, masculine or feminine. Like I'm getting like on both ends. This is what someone is saying for themselves with transformation, and this could be like somebody going through a big transformation that they didn't even expect for themselves with past. Boom. So I feel like I'm reading the fuck out these cards. Like somebody's, they're not who they used to be in the past with cycle. That's over. This could be you, your your new person. Like somebody is going through a, a, a big transformation. And I feel like for some of you guys in this new cycle, you're going to be receiving more than you ever have because you are the giver. You have always given more than you have received. And it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to be the, the, the receiver to receive because you've been the giver. And again, I do feel like um, it's something about a transformation that somebody's going through where they don't want the same things that they used to want, the same thing that they used to think would bring them happiness or satisfaction with abundance. Like literally for some of y'all, you divine feminine, you, you're you stepping into abundance too. So it's going to come through like a commitment and love. I'm saying whoever you are waiting on, I don't know. I would just say like, let bygones be, just go ahead and let shit be what it is. To release that person with love. Pray for them if you want to. Pray for them if you want to. It's something very different about you that somebody can't get over. Like, 
uh, especially like this new person that's going to meet you um i feel like they're going to know it's, it's way beyond lust or temptation because it's just something so dazzling and different about you that's going to catch this person either they i heard they can't take their eyes off of you can't take my eyes off of you you'll be like heaven touch i want to hold you so much I think that's Lauren Hill. Can't take my eyes off of you. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's having a new perspective about you with the past here. This could be even somebody with perspective who's having a new perspective about themselves and like their own past way of being. I do see something coming to a place of balance here. This could be like between you and someone else with healing, especially like a, I feel like a masculine or even a feminine. Somebody's doing a lot of healing. I heard like somebody's not the same person that they used to be or they won't be. If somebody left you in a certain place or like they ghosted you, they cut you off or they left you kind of wanting or wondering where, where did you stand with them? You wanted closure. You will not be in the same place that this person left you is what I'm hearing. Make sure that you're not in the same place, place that this person left you is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, it's time to get moving. We're not staying stuck. You know, don't sit back waiting on communication from this person. But for some of you, I'm hearing like you were, you were, um, there definitely was for some of you guys, uh, there, there was third party interferences for some of you, for others of you, I am getting, you're actually going to be the one moving forward now into a new commitment, heavy Taurus energy, where someone may even feel like you have like third parties or like you are like entertaining other people. And I don't even get that you're with this person. I'm just getting like somebody going to feel like you have like options or like if you do connect with someone, they're going to feel like they're actually now like the third party. this person is thinking about you though for some of you whoever you are wanting to reach out they do miss you they are thinking about you i do see a lot of growth though somebody could be focused right now on self-growth self-improvement um for those of you who you were you still want to know like if somebody thinks of you they do um but i do feel like this person has a lot of growing to do that could be what they're trying to do right now um keep your heart open is what source is saying keep an open heart This person was confused um, for a lot of you about what they wanted, confused about you, very uncertain, very unclear. If they were unclear at one point, I'm hearing they aren't now. But for some of you, no, they could still be a little confused or about what it is they want with longing here. But it is a heavy energy of longing. Um, your end, their end, either end. But I am feeling like somebody definitely was confused at one point. But I definitely heard like, yeah, they were confused or uncertain. Like this person could feel like they're getting the answers now or something about like this person getting like, yeah, I do feel like this person definitely, um, they, I don't get that they're going to, I just feel like this person is silent right now out of confusion and a lot of other shits. But this is someone who they live in like a fantasy world when it comes to you. Like this person could have like a lot of like fantasies, but they don't act on them. They're cool with just sitting in their head daydreaming about the two of you guys. But, um, yeah. We're divine masculine. So for some of you guys, yeah, you do have a divine masculine in your energy. You, you can feel like this is your divine masculine. But like I said, they could be. I'm not going to say that because it, it, it's definitely out here for some of you. This could be a new person. We're healing. For others of you, you could choose to wait on your masculine. We got healing out here. I was getting that's a newer energy that's been healing and doing the transformation. For others of you, you know this person. I'm not saying this is somebody that played you, dogged you, but it definitely could have been like a separation period. Someone is healing. Somebody is in the energy of like self-growth, self-focus. For some of you, this is going to be a newer energy, but this could still be somebody that you're waiting to hear from. Um, I am getting an energy of communication, though. Uh, something like that after some form of healing takes place. But right now, somebody is in this energy of healing. This is divine masculine with healing. So this could be surprising to some of you like this, to know that somebody actually is actually healing. I'm hearing they're not doing, they're not bypassing. They're doing the work. Um, and again, this could be somebody who used to be like um, a party type or they like to kind of go out or they like to explore their options. I don't know. Somebody could have been like acting like they didn't want this with bluffing, but I yes, yeah, a mask. Somebody's wearing a mask, but um, you're gonna see the truth about something soon enough, is what I'm hearing. Okay, this is a juicy reading. The possibilities. Yeah, I'm just getting like new energies. Like you guys can even find out like you got like new options coming in for you.
I love a good baby blue. Right now, you guys are in this energy of being the runner. So you're the runner energetically. Or, I mean, hey, this person could have been running from y'all. This could be why you're wondering, like, where they're going to come back or where they're going to say something to you because they could be in this energy of being the runner. They could have been afraid of commitment or ghosting. Yeah, ghosting, disappearing. So whoever was the person that ghosted, they're in this energy of being the runner. But, yeah, they could they could be a twin flame. So some of y'all, this is like a twin flame. You could feel like this divine masculine is your twin flame. Whoever was the runner, whoever was the one that didn't want to commit or settle down, they were always ghosting in and out, never could make their mind up, very confused or didn't know what they wanted, choosing between whatever. But now, like, yeah, somebody was shallow. I'm telling you, somebody was, like, very shallow at one point. And I feel like this is who's going through this big awakening. Like, I don't want what I used to think I wanted. That's not what really fulfills me. And this person will be making a return for some of you. So for some of you, you've been wondering, like, when is this person? Or where, where are they going to? Yes. There were, like, past influences that were, like, affecting this. This could have been third parties for some of y'all. I was getting that. Or friends, people who are attached to this person that could have been, like, I don't know, like guiding them elsewhere or on another. It's just other influences were affecting this connection at one point. But we have releasing. I'm telling you, they're releasing third parties. They're releasing old friends or outside influences who are affecting this connection or that could have been slowing down or, or um, a transformation that they were going through. I, I'm hearing like this person is realizing who was uh, around them that was not necessary to their growth for like, you know, so this person is definitely going through a big energy of like they're they're changing. And again, for some of you guys with spying and beauty, this person views you as me. You may not know this, but I'm hearing it's a divine mask somewhere that watches someone on every platform. We got social media network, information ways. So somebody been learning your ways. I'm hearing they're studying you or they're trying to get information on you and because they feel like you're very beautiful. With charming, graceful, kind-hearted. They're very, I heard, in love by you. Like, you're charming. Uh, it's just a kind-hearted nature you have to. You're light, I'm hearing. So this is why they're now like, okay, I'm going to release or walk away from these third parties or these karmics. Or, like, this person knows what they want, which is you. Um, but I was getting an energy like this person did have a lot of growth. Um, for some of you guys, it was like the energy. I didn't like what I was picking up at first. So for some of you, I mean, that could have been a different person. But I feel like this could be the same person that's taking their, their healing serious now. For others of you, that was somebody else that was like broke. Where Source was like, you got to let that person go. You got like somebody else that could be like going through an energy of where now they're healing and they're releasing things before they come in for like this new change or like this new love. So I would just take what resonates. But for others of you, I don't know who that energy was that was in lack I mean, like I said, this could be that same person, but I don't really feel like it is. But you do share a past life with this person. Source is saying for those of you who do want something new, we have finality. For others of you, you're not going to choose to take somebody back, which I was picking up on. Like that could have been that person that was in lack. Farewells, leaving behind, closure. That could have been who you wanted closure from. Like you were like, why this person not reaching out? Like that could have been a past life karmic. Because it was saying like that was like a, I believe there was this reading, like an ex or something like that. Um. I would just take where it resonates, but if that was like, you knew that was like a past life ex, that was like a karmic, or you were waiting on this person, it's something that's like, for some of you, you're going to realize that that's meant to be over. Say your goodbyes, that was, you dodged a bullet, you have somebody new that's actually going to be putting in the work for you. This is someone who wants to heal, and they're going to see you as the same, like you actually wanted to do the work, and they're hoping that, um, they're having faith that this is something that can be manifested between the two of you, a very strong foundation this could be somebody who's like a family guy family woman and they want to build like a family with you or some form of security and safety net oh i heard commitment but not like safety net but it's like they want to create a safe zone between the both of you where there's like loyalty like security um with marriage promises and fidelity like this is not somebody that's going to be in, in, like in, 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 what is that called infidelity like they're not going to be promiscuous or cheating the age 42 or the number 42 could be significant again um, yeah finality like this person is walking away i'm telling y'all they're walking away from a lot of things or people or because they're having realizations that whatever they're longing for whoever they're longing for this person may just start chasing y'all soon for some of you like somebody new like or this person who i will at one point they could have been afraid of rejection um but there is like an obsession growing and i feel like they're ex exhausted with holding back that they only want you so for some of you i am not getting that this is somebody that you were actually waiting on this is maybe somebody different i mean somebody i'm hearing somebody said that wasn't the only one i was waiting on <laughs> so that one the only one you was waiting on to text you okay so you could be like okay since the other one was a karmic okay so some of y'all i don't know but you could have felt like one person like somebody else was a karmic i feel like that's somebody who has nothing to offer others of you you do have someone who's going to want to grow a very strong foundation and they're going to want to commit with you and if you're wondering if there's somebody else there's not it's only you so um, if somebody did abandon you, they, they ghosted you, they cut you off, they left you feel like you weren't good enough or like you wanted answers or closure. I just feel like that person does, they're not deserving of like your timing or like your time or like love. And there could be somebody that's new that source is sending your way or 
more in alignment or more focused on their their journey and their health and their healing for some of you i mean for some of you this is this could be the same person take what resonates that's wanting to heal we got confessions these are my confessions <laughs> so yeah somebody within time we're going to clarify i'm just getting clarity coming in the situation for some of you who you could have thought that somebody didn't care we did see that bluffing card they could have been very withdrawn they were bluffing there was silence between the two of you they will reach their breaking point sooner or later um there's going to be confessions in a situation where i do feel like somebody's going to want to tell you how they feel it's going to be this masculine like he's checking the clock like somebody's like waiting on the time to come in um or some type of cycles or to what apology to bring something to a place of balance between the two of you or you could be hearing from someone you haven't heard from in a while yeah you make this person really happy with ecstasy but pride definitely could have been holding somebody back or like mm, a lot they could have been a little arrogant they were in their ego a little stubborn <laughs> Um, but for some of you guys, I am getting like somebody's intuition is actually putting them towards you very, very strongly with heart song. I heard heart strings, though. So somebody that could be that person who the, the love is pulling on the both of you guys' heart strings with telepathy. Yeah, I feel like the two of you guys could be speaking like telepathy through like telepathy or telepathically with the inner knowing like you both could feel like you both belong in each other's lives or there is just this energy of I don't know why I know this or how or I just feel like I belong with you or you belong with me with clinging like this person. You have someone who's clinging onto you energetically with intimacy. And again, it's something about the way you make this person feel when you are with them or how soft you are with them or intimate. I'm getting like a, it's not a sexual thing. It's more like an intimate thing. It's more of a, like a the bond between the two of you they're able to confide in you the way that they haven't been able to confide in others or they feel like they would be like you have a very soft warm like open like energy that makes this person just feel like i can just be myself with this person i don't have to hide i heard even their deepest darkest secrets this person feels like they want to tell you they want to open up to you because they feel like you're the, their person like they're it's safe here is what i'm hearing and there's something about the bond that you and this person will grow that's going to be listen to me death with divine feminine so we had divine masculine come out now we have divine feminine you and this person like divine feminine it's so much depth to you you're so deep like ocean deep i'm here and like you make this person like feel things they haven't felt before with all this water and i ain't gonna lie for some of y'all somebody could have ran because you made them feel a lot of things or you are not surface level you are very deep so if somebody wants to come into your world they got to know how to swim i'm here it's ain't for like you know <laughs> They got to be ready. They got to be ready for what you come with. And water is very transformational. It's very healing. It's very cleansing. And this is what you bring into this person's life. Um, and with intimacy here, somebody's clinging onto this energy that you bring it to them, bring to their life. They want to go into depth with you, Divine Feminine. Um, they cl They're clinging to you. This is not somebody who's going to let you go. They haven't let you go. They won't let you go. And their intuition is telling them that it's you, that they should be coming towards. And this person is thinking about you. Like, you got people, I'm mean, like, it's more than one person, but somebody is craving you. They're deeply desiring you. And for some of you, like, um, you do have someone, whoever this person that was confused about you, you may not go back to that person. Whoever had you waiting or you may just choose to, like, release that person and move forward. If they left you unclear or unsure, like, you were needing closure, the whole time they're still watching you and spying, like... Somebody could have just been, you just like, I don't want it anymore. Or they left you in the energy confusion. Or you just like, oh, fuck the closure. I'm just done. And all of a sudden, like, you are focusing on yourself and your own value. And it's like, you meet somebody new. For some of you, some of you guys, you were still hoping that somebody would reach out to you or you were manifesting this. But I'm getting like, it's the ending that was actually meant to be like a silver lining. This could come as like shocking news to some of you guys. This could be unexpected. Maybe you really thought like, okay, I thought that was my person or like, you know, but this person would remain in this runner energy. And for some of y'all, this happened in the past. Like they were the runner in the past. Like and they will remain the runner because this person doesn't heal in any lifetime. They're going to ghost you again. And then probably the next, like this person is just disappear. This is what they do. And I feel like right now, this is something about you learning the lesson because that came out three times. So I almost keep wanting to say like, oh, this is the same person they want to heal. But you know what source is reminding me of? That three times it came out saying it's a setup. It's a test. So for some of y'all, don't don't be fooled by thinking this person is the one that's for you because they're not. I get that it's somebody new or somebody that's never really hurt you. They haven't betrayed you is what I'll get. Whoever this person that keeps leaving your life or ghosting you or flighty energy, they're going to have to face some really tough karma. I feel like you should let them deal with that and not, not, not listen, memories. They're going to just be a, a distant memory pretty soon. And all they're going to have of you is the memories. So whoever this person that was unsure, they kept running. They were conflicted about what they wanted. They were hot and cold. It says here, multiple choices. That's why. Source is telling some of y'all, listen, let this person go. You have a secret admirer that has been suppressing their emotions for you. They could be a little shy or a little timid, but it's because of the way you make them feel. It's your true divine masculine. And guess what we got out here? 
we got loyalty with heart fog. So if somebody was a little foggy about what they wanted or it was because this person did have blocked emotions at one point. For some of you, it is your true divine masculine. And that's who's for you. That's who's for you. And this person is loyal as hell. This person could know something about a situation that you were going through too, I'm hearing for some of y'all. Or like they've been watching or they watch you a lot with this dog energy. Um, but they could be very like secretive with how they watch you or that, that they watch you, period. But I just get somebody really, really, really wants to be like loyal to you. But they keep this hidden. And they could be suppressing how they feel. And you spent a past life with this karmic energy. And you spent the past life with this soulmate energy. But for many of you, you are about to come into contact or like a union with your divine masculine. Or divine feminine, okay? If there was mixed signals or any type of conflict, I see that being cleared up. I do see if somebody was hot and cold with you, let that go. If somebody was leaving you in the dust, leave their ass in the dust now. Like, you don't need that person, okay? This Somebody new is going to come in. Like, I'm here to explore your options, divine feminine. Be this free-spirited person that you're meant to be. Take risks. Because you're meant to be meeting new people or going to new spaces or opening yourself up to new possibilities. And some of y'all were holding yourself back. But maybe you were healing. And that's okay. It's okay to be in your healing stages. Like, I'm going to heal before I move forward. We don't want to just be filling voids or, like, on a rebound. But for some of y'all, you could have been healing and you just stayed in that energy of the hermit. Let's get out of our shell a little bit. Let's go out. Let's explore. Let's meet new people. Let's be vulnerable. Let's love again. Okay? Let's keep our heart open. So, I feel like everything is being confirmed. If you guys are wanting, a, like, a stronger foundation or somebody who wants what you want, you will have that but you have to keep yourself i'm here like hold yourself to that standard and keep that don't lower your standards or you know make somebody feel like you're asking for too much or settle because i do feel like you're going to get what you want by not settling and i'm telling you whoever left you guys waiting yeah listen you're gonna re it says releasing in sorrow you're releasing this energy of sorrow if somebody could have had you in your feelings or like you were just waiting around to the point where it's like okay now it's just like you had no choice like but to release somebody to let go and to move on could have even caused somebody to be like depressed or something like that you could have felt very rejected by somebody or you're going to have to reject somebody um especially if they were very tricked like a trickster energy or dishonest a lot of deception i'm hearing like this is for your highest good and whoever this person that wants to come towards you to be loyal listen baby breaking point this person is not going to hold back from you much longer divine feminine you're about to get you're about to hear from this person that you spent a past life with divine feminine so you're wondering like damn you know you you're kind of feeling low about one situation i'm hearing source always comes through with something better okay so we're gonna close out Okay, I feel like we're doing pretty good on time. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and close out. Um, that's why somebody, I don't know if this was a love reading. You could be really waiting to hear from anybody. I mean, anybody you could have been waiting to reach out, but this is kind of giving love. Um, why somebody hasn't broken no contact, especially if that was like a lover for some of you guys. individuality somebody really is in love with like you for you it's something about you just being yourself and this is what attracted this person in towards you even if somebody could have felt like they were weird or odd or you just were a little strange or you like different they say you like fat ass bowls and like people feel like you're a little too grown for that. this person loves you for you like they love it like they love like okay i love the way that you wear your bows like it's just like whatever you may feel like you know I don't know. Just keep being yourself. Something about you really stands out. Just you, your essence, your vibe, your energy, your aura. Somebody wants to celebrate with you. You could be celebrating soon or having drinks or going out with someone with proposal. This could be same sex. We did see that other card talk about lesbian love. And it's two women on this card. Anytime I see this card, I'll be talking about that's my lesbian card. But I know y'all be getting so damn. Oh, no, I don't like the same. Like, listen, if you know, you know, that's not that part is not for you. Like, this is thousands of people watch my readings. But Definitely could be same sex for some of you guys. You're going to have somebody that, like, I heard I've been crushing on you, all right? But you could meet somebody that, like, they're going to want to, they're going to be doting on you. They're going to want to take care of you. They're going to want to nurture you and, like, offer you things that maybe in the past you were always offering to others and they didn't give back with sacrifice so yeah this is a sacrifice is going to have to be made moving forward and i'm hearing like it's that energy that you could have possibly been holding on to or waiting on with the x oh wow 
So sacrificing the ex. The source is saying it clear as day. It's time to let that fucking ex go. Because I'm hearing your spirit guy say, we tired of that nigga. We tired of him. <laughs> we tired of that nigga. Yeah, your, your, your spirit guy is tired of that person that you've been waiting for. You, <laughs> that you were keeping or that, that woman or that... Whoever you was... Look, you, you don't even know that your spirit guy is fed up with somebody. Like, you just... I mean, like, I'm here like, why is this person... Like, your spirit guy's been over there hitting somebody upside the head with the... Uh, like, they... Like, you better not reach out. Like, somebody like, I ain't even finna bring this shit to them. Like, I ain't even... <laughs> you don't even realize, like, your spirit guys don't... They're protecting you. That's what I'm going to say. Because enough with the... <laughs> but, uh, falling fast. Because I might be falling. I might be falling. What's that song? I might be falling deep. I might be falling deep. I might be falling deep. I might be falling. I don't know if that's the the lyrics. I don't know if that's what she says in the songs. Falling deep. So you're going to have to trust that this is for you. Because some of y'all were settling in the past. Sort of seeing whoever that ex was that you're being told to sacrifice. Settling. You weren't fucking happy because that wasn't your person. You knew, you knew it was something else with falling fast. Like somebody's gonna be falling fast for you, and I ain't gonna lie, they gonna you try to create boundaries. You're like, let's slow this motherfucker down before I get some possible this yak on my. What do you say? In the dollar suit. But somebody is falling fast for you, and that yeah. Closure. What did I say? Y'all got y'all been waiting on closure from this ex or somebody or somebody who 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 want to come towards you could want closure from you. Maybe they never fully got over like a situation between the two of you. I'm just getting like a lot of clarity coming in or like um if you are waiting on closure from someone, her you're not gonna be waiting on that no more. Like you could just need to like let that go. You possibly are needed to move on without like that that apology that you were wanting from someone or like that that closure. Like some of y'all just gonna have to go ahead and just move on because you got new things coming in. Um with unseen. You may not even see this coming. For others of you, you may not know that somebody still has been like clinging on to a situation between the two of you guys. Um, but I do feel like the two of you or someone is anticipating something that's coming in. I want one more card before I close out. Okay, we got three. We got charisma sparks in a long time. So right now, you guys could be just keeping all your charm and charisma to yourself. You are this person. Um, excuse me. Bear with me, y'all. Trying to post one of my uh readings. Okay, so yeah, whatever, which we got true love here, so secrets. I don't know if somebody wants to keep this on a low at first, or this is going to come as like you you and your person want to kind of know that like it's smart to keep it on a low. Um, I, I feel like that's significant for somebody here. You may not want to go telling too many people about this when it comes in, or this new person um, heard, yeah, it's going to be a lot of romance between the two of you. I heard you are breathtaking. Somebody feels like you're breathtaking. Um, but that is the reading, you guys. You are going to have somebody that's going to want to come in and like give you like a proposal of some sort. Again, we have voids and two different decks come out. So I feel like that's source reiterating the fact that many of my collective was out here filling voids with people that you were one waiting on or things that you were with butterfly. But like as you go through this transformation where you're going to be meeting someone new for some of you, that's going to lead you towards the right path and a new connection is saying here. Because it says you're going to meet somebody new. For some of y'all, this is going to be like when you're out or like is is giving like a newer connection maybe this maybe if it's not like a brand new person a newer connection it's not going to be somebody that like you just it's car it's not going to be karmic um but you have to get out of this energy of like filling voids um it's it's 
energy of like rushing somebody was rushing love or something like that to fill a void but it was like you needed to seek inner fulfillment first or you needed to like do some form of like healing with toxicity because it's like the more you try to rush the relationships or the love that you were going into you found yourself running into like toxic people or connections and i feel like that's why growth was needed um but again with romance you and your person are going to equally like be into this energy of like romance i'm here like ooh, people gonna be tired of y'all <laughs> like y'all gonna be so into each other uh was it still see you by Pyramore? I should be over all the butterflies. Oh, yeah. See, it's like y'all could be get together like 20 years later, still over each other. Like, like the honeymoon phase is what I'm getting. Like, yeah, perfectly imperfect energy, like imperfect. Like, I don't know, love each other flaws and all. It's what I'm getting with twin flames today. Cause you, you guys belong together. It's gonna be like being with your twin, literally. Like, not it's brothers, it's sister twin, but it's like somebody that's just like you know me inside and out. Like, you are me. Like, yeah, that's yeah. I don't know how well that would work because it's like when y'all kind of bump heads, but like you love yourself, you would really get along with yourself. I guess I'll say that. So um, it's almost going to be like it's going to show you how much you love yourself when you meet this person because it's almost going to be like somebody's going to be like with a mirror reflection of themselves, even if you feel like you're both like kind of opposite. But this emperor, this emperor, for some of you, I ain't gonna lie, this could be someone that you know, you you had a past life with. Or maybe again you've known them from the past, but I don't feel like this is somebody who's is karmic or they've hurt you. They've they they broke you down to the ground like where you have to pick yourself back up. That's not the energy that I'm getting. I feel like this is somebody who um they've been doing the work with the full card. This emperor could be an Aquarius, Aquarius, an Aquarius or an Aries. Um, this is somebody who's been doing the work themselves. This is somebody who's in their power as an emperor. This person could have a child, they don't have to be. Um, this person could be your future baby. <laughs> um I feel like this person is going to, this could be an earth sign for some of you. This emperor is a king of pentacles. This emperor king of pentacles energy is coming out as a ten of pentacles. This person could have a lot of money for some of y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Or they could be very stable. This could be a very stable person who like focuses on their finances. They will, This is not somebody who just be out here. I feel like this is somebody who has their head on straight for some of y'all. Like, let's hope, <laughs> you know, but I, I do feel like this is somebody who, um, when they come in, they're going to know what they want. This is not somebody who's in lack is what I'm getting. For some of you guys, it's why you were being told to let someone from the past go. Because I feel like you are about to get justice. Are you going to meet someone with the high priestess here? And again, it's the energy of like anticipation. Like your intuition could be telling you that something is close. And again, if somebody was planning our energy, is playing with your emotions or mind, that that person going to be in lack. Like that person finances... I feel like somebody gonna even they could even like ask you for help or like try to stay around you because you gonna be abundant. That's why source could be telling somebody like you know recognize when someone is only around you for like the wrong reasons. If you can't beat them, join them. Cause somebody may not even be like who they're. Ugh. Ace of Pentacles. Like I'm feeling like somebody's about to get big blessed, whether it's financially or through an offer from a lover. Something bigger is coming in for you. Um, Page of Pentacles to where like it could seem like you've grown overnight or like some type of transformation has taken place or. Um, Something about money too, like abundance, ace of wands, ace of pentacles, y'all. I don't know. I would I wouldn't even focus on anything from the past. You got new. I would go with the new. Because the new is more promising than what you've already been shown. Like you already know what the, the past consists of with the world card. That's the energy of learning the lesson and closing the cycle. So I would say as a collective, we've come to the point where we've learned the lesson. Yeah. And we are ready to close that cycle with this ace of wands, ace of pentacles. We've learned the lesson. You've learned or you see past somebody's decept deceitful or deceptive ways or you don't have to keep going on like a roller coaster like with the sun card. You heard you understand the assignment. You get it? So much happier times are coming in for you now. One more as I close this reading out. Okay, you're coming out as a queen of wands. You're coming out as very confident, very sexy, very attractive, a leader in your own right. Somebody could be becoming more social or confident. And I heard it's something about your independence as you're walking like into this new era or into this new energy with the high priestess and a nine of wands, baby. You've gone through so much, but you're still pushing. You have a very resilient energy to you. Like you will not let anything or like life hold you back or stop you. And again, it's something about your intuition that keeps telling you to keep going because you already know that it's better. Like you already know, I feel like whoever you are, that yeah, you may have wanted something or someone, but it's better. So don't get discouraged with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You got two new beginnings coming. I feel like multiple, like just, just, and with, with the high priestess, like your intuition, Pisces energy is on point. It could have been telling you Ace of Swords. It's on point, whoever you are. Your intuition be telling you like, girl, bye. It's, 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 it's more three of wands. Wait for your ships to come in. You could be a Leo. I feel like somebody looks fucking good. You could be a fire sign, but somebody looks damn good. You could have options, baby. Like, why you, you heard, <laughs> what? One monkey don't stop, no show. Somebody got options. You got like a lot of people that could want to give to you, but make sure that you're discerning who's 
a good option or like who's meant like don't just be out here just trying to like give your energy to everybody because you got options or anybody like make sure that you're discerning who's worthy of your time because baby you are worthy of the world you're worthy of everything and you're worthy of somebody who deserves your time not somebody who's going to waste it okay i feel like you guys are going to get really good news soon i'm just going to say that with a cheer you're going to get really really good news this can even be communication look look somebody could be like in communication with the divine or somebody could feel like you speak through, like the divine speaks through you. Like somebody could be a channeler or clairvoyant or something with the hierophant and the eight of wands and the chariot. Like, um, I do feel like the divine is pushing someone forward onto a new timeline is what I'm hearing though. Somebody could even feel like they're being pushed to like communicate. We got cancer and Taurus energy here. Like somebody could feel like they're telling you page of wands. Like somebody feels like they're being pushed either to like say something to you. This could be like somebody who's like a secret admirer or, um... Like somebody's making a like a decision uh this could be you guys like making it with the high priest and i think i just stopped there though with the taurus cancer pisces energy out here i do feel someone is trusting their intuition possibly to get on a certain timeline so i heard a trajectory like and it's i'm just seeing like fast movement like you could even be getting communication from somebody um out of the blue that like somebody was like contemplating it's, it's a lot of communication i see here Every time. Y'all know I'll be saying I'm done, but I do see again that somebody something is coming around for you guys with the full card here. In the future, wait on your ships to come in. Um, I do see somebody taking a leap of faith, and this is going to be your justice, whether it's from a person, it's a wine. Somebody has a lot of passion for you. For some of you, this is going to be like a new creative endeavor, endeavor or a beginning that could be opening for you. Um, that's going to take your focus off something else that you've been focusing on. That source is urging you to kind of like take this risk, trust again, or take a risk on something new is what I'm hearing. It's actually going to be very beneficial. It's actually going to really work out for you better than maybe you expect it in this new cycle with the world card. It's going to be fresh. It's going to be new. It's going to be something to look forward to is what I'm hearing, okay? So that is the reading. I truly do hope that it gave you the confirmation that you guys were needing and the clarity. Um, I really did have fun doing this reading. I really do feel like it gave me even some confirmation along the way. So any type of feedback would be greatly appreciated, you guys. I, you know, I always have fun. Spend the time with my collective. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you.